got it. <laughs> yes. Not the bait. There's another one. <laughs> oh, he ate the jig right away. It's a nice one. Oh! He chomped that buzz bait. That's a fun way to start the morning off. It's dead quiet out here. It really startled me. Whoa! My goodness. I guess it won't be that kind of day. Just came up and tapped it. Got him though. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice, I will bask him up and tap my buzz bait. Oh, that one was right next to me. There's one. There he got it again. There I got him. One came and hammered the underspin. Out of GoPro battery, but I put on the jig. And look what happened. It is the biggest one of the day. And right there on the Pepper Custom Base Micro Jig. All right, there he is, 19 and a half incher. Hey guys, Ben here from Ben and Nick's Fishing Adventures. I'm starting off today's video a little different than normal. I put in a big order to Pepper Custom Baits and I just checked the FedEx tracking number. The delivery should be here soon. So today I'm sitting out on my front porch waiting for the FedEx truck to arrive. There goes the truck. I had to go inside to use the bathroom. Sure enough, there it is. Feels heavy. Let's open it up. Packaging, invoice, all right, let's check out what the contents are. All right, first thing, some underspins, three different colors there. I'm excited about these, these are half an ounce each. Uh, and then when I rig my swim bait on there, it'll be completely weedless. So I'm really excited to throw these this, this fall. Got a few in here, shad imitators. It's really nice eye design on there. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Very nice. Okay, next up we got some spinner baits. Oh, that's cool too. It's got the half gold, half silver blade on there. That's impressive. Uh, but this is a bigger spinner bait. This is a three quarter ounce. And the idea behind this is that if I want to fish it deeper, it'll fish deep pretty easily. But if I want to fish it shallow, I can still burn it through. And, and yeah, wow, those, those blades are really cool. I've never seen a blade like that where it's half gold and half silver. You got some great colors here. A couple of different shad colors. Oh, stuff's blowing away. Grab that. Yeah, these are going to be dynamite.
Right, we've got another spinnerbait here. I believe this is their commando spinnerbait. Yeah, it definitely is. And what's unique about this bait, and you can tell when I'm getting it out of here, the hooks are hooking into the bag. But what's unique about this spinnerbait is that it has a treble hook. So this one's for fishing open water. I'll get it out of here. Okay, there's actually two of them in here. And this is their commando spinnerbait. So it's got a feather and a treble hook on there. It's free swinging. I've had a lot of times where the fish will come up and it'll, uh, the fish will just kind of hit the spinning spinnerbait or tap it when I'm fishing it in open water. And uh, this treble hook should get them if that happens. It is a hand tied feather on there. And the quality on that is just phenomenal. That's just great. Got a nice blade combination of the white as well as the silver on there. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be awesome. And the fact that the hook is free swinging, it should be really good uh, so that basically the fish will stay penned and won't be able to get any leverage. Lay these out. Next. This is the Commando buzz bait. And what I, what's really, really cool about it is it has a free swinging hook. So it's got a Trocar swim bait hook on there. I recognize that. And it's free swinging, so if the fish hits it, they can't get any, any leverage. It comes with swim baits. So you can rig this swim bait on there, completely weedless. And then it also comes with the feathered treble hook, just like this commando spinner bait. So you can put this feathered treble hook on there for fishing open water. Dad, do you know what I thought? Nope, oh, my son's shooting some Nerf bullets at me. No, I what? wasn't shooting at you. Oh, okay. I was, I was trying to hear a traction, so then you could hear that, so then you know somebody was out here with you. Oh, cool. Thanks for coming out, Tay. Love you. You're welcome. So that treble hook will go on there too. I shot him on car. Ooh, that's a nice pattern. Dad, watch this. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> good shot. I'm looking at the weak one eye. I think, just like Tay, quiet for a sec, okay? I think this is the bait that I'm gonna fish first. It's got this black. <laughs> Someone shot me. I think this is the bait that I'm gonna fish first. It's got a black head on here, which gives hopefully gives the fish a target. It's got that treble hook for open water. Oh man, that white blade. This this thing just looks phenomenal. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take this thing out early in the morning and see if I can catch a fish on it. That just looks great. This is one I think I'm going to fish first, but I'm not done yet, so I'll probably probably find some other stuff I like. All right, so we got your queen, <laughs> queen mother commando buzz bait. Let's check this out. There's that big swim bait hook. Ooh, this one might give that other bait a run for its money. Yeah, I might have to fish this one first in the morning. I don't know. It's gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a tough decision between these two. They both just look amazing. Oh, look at that. It's really cool how versatile they are. Nice swim bait on there, which you can basically take this feathered treble hook off here, right there. You can just take that off. If you need to go a weedless, put that on there. Uh, but I'm going to try with the treble hook on it to start. I'll be in my kayak, so if I get snagged, it shouldn't be a big deal. But the, the color combinations and the on these are, are uh, really one of a kind. That's, that's going to be hard not to fish that. So I've got a few more of my uh, favorite jig here. Got some more jigs. 
This is my favorite bait that Pepper Custom makes is the micro jig. I've caught many fish if you watched any of my videos. That's the 953 color. We've got this one looks like Prestige Worldwide. I can kind of recognize the colors by now almost. Here's another Prestige Worldwide and another 953. So just, just uh, it's going to be some real good baits. Definitely going to catch them on the jig. Seems like I, I always do. Ooh, here's a quarter ounces as well. Uh, same thing, a couple Prestige Worldwides for the color as well as the 953. Really like the color combinations on these. Uh, let's see what else we got. Some rattles. That's one nice feature that I haven't touched on much in my videos is that they have these collars on here and we can put the rattle in if you want to add a rattle. So I'll be trying that in a little dirtier water or just at certain times. See if I can get a, get a few more bites out of that. All right, this is one I was really, really looking forward to. This is their Wacky Rig uh, jig head. So it's got a weed guard on there. It's a, a weedless Wacky Rig head. But they custom hand tied on this little barb. So they, they tied on this hook keeper. And what it can turn into is a weedless Ned head. And in the fall around here, I fish a lot of really small swim baits and small um, soft plastic jerk baits for smallmouth bass. And this is looking like it's going to be a perfect jig head for that. And uh, I cannot wait to try these out. So I got several of these. I really like that hand tied option on there. It should make for a perfect weedless uh, Ned rig type or small swim bait type head. All right, I got some more of those. A few different sizes, different weights. Very impressive. Uh, here's some Pepper Custom Baits Ned Heads. So I mentioned I fished those the Ned Rigs or those baits. This is just a really heavy duty, high quality Ned Rig. It does have a little bit of a point on it right there. I like that. So it should stand up very nicely on the gravel bottoms that I fish. Um, yeah, just a super high quality Ned Rig jig head. Can never get enough of those. Here are the Wacky Rig hooks. So this is the same exact thing as this hook, but uh, no hand tied uh, bait keeper. So these ones I'll use for Wacky Rig and Cinco's. Uh, here's just ounce, 3 16ths ounce, some different, different uh, size of these Wacky Rig heads that I can fish. And lastly, it looks like here's a few more rattles, red ones this time that I can add on to my jigs to catch some fish. So a pretty big haul. That's a lot of stuff for this little box. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I mentioned some fishing some stuff in grass uh, and, and fishing really heavy milfoil, uh, really heavy stuff like that up in Minnesota. So they put a few of these in and it looks like we've got, this looks like maybe their shaky head maybe. Yeah, they're stand-up shaky head. It's a quarter ounce, and that's gonna be a really nice head for, for coming through grass. I'm gonna open those up. Looks like it's gonna be a good head design anytime. Wow, just feeling the just feeling these, there's a lot of quality uh, that goes into these. Into designing it, got a nice keeper. Yeah, that's gonna catch them for sure. And it should come right through the grass. Um, so I can put a, a creature bait, a worm. I've got some nice worms I could put on here. Crawdads, a uh, lot of different soft plastics that'll fish very well on this. And this is the punch kit. This is something I haven't done much of before. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of, of punching in grass, but essentially what it is, is you tie it onto your line and it's just a, Basically, kind of like a Texas rig, weight, 
got a nice bullet weight, but it has a skirt attached to it and you can add rattles. That's great. Two really good colors here. You got the Prestige Worldwide as well as that 953 again. And I, I can put a hook. I can put any hook on it. Um, so you can go small hook, big hook. But uh, yeah, these are really high quality. I believe that's a tungsten weight on there too. It's a great finish on them. And you know that really there's an incredible detail on these baits. You can see that you know so this different skirt color comes with a different weight. Everything is just designed with so much detail and uh, so much customization. You can tell that when these guys make their baits, they really put a lot of time and energy and effort into, into all the different combinations and stuff like that. So that little box, I got all this stuff. My only problem is what am I gonna fish first? Cause I cannot wait to get out and throw these baits this fall. I think out of all these, I mean, of course, here, the micro jigs, they're my bread and butter. I've caught so many fish on these. I'm definitely going to fish those for sure, uh, but not first because I got new stuff. I'm excited about the new stuff. I think I'm going to have to fish the buzz baits first. I mean, oh man, the buzz baits look great. The underspins, spinner baits. Um, yeah, again, just the color the detail you can see all the different if you look closely at the skirt there's little reflective material in there um, you know the, the color that they use on the on the hook the feathers the skirts the blades you can just tell so much time and uh, and energy and quality went into making and designing these these baits and that's one of the big reasons why this is by far my favorite bait company. Um, yeah, that's my only problem. Got to figure out what I want to fish first. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to go with the buzz bait. I mean, this buzz bait. Wow, look at that guy. One of these two buzz baits, I think, is going to be the one that I fish first. Okay, I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to get all this loaded into my tackle box. And... Uh, Gonna go fishing. Now I'm just throwing this bait everywhere that I can. And uh, it's just an absolute blast. Whoa, there he got it. <laughs> yes. Not the bait, there's another one. <laughs> Oh, he ate the jig right away. It's a nice one. Goodness. 